with Slipknot. What do you mean by that? I don't understand the question. Give it to me again. What the hell are you talking about? I don't understand what the hell you're saying. Who is Slipknot? I don't understand what the hell you're saying! <laughs> okay, can you explain to me uh, about the band? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. Um, the band was started in 95. Um, nine people trapped in a very repressive place with uh, no outlets, no life, basically. And uh, we turned all this uh, aggression into a, a beautiful, sick noise. This is the very first mask I ever wore. Wow. This is actually this mask right here. I'll show you. This mask here. Uh -huh. This mask on the cover of the CD. Because shortly, um, shortly after OzFest, this thing started to do what it just continues right. to do. It was starting to gag me out, like it was melting to my face, so I had to wrap it in duct tape. And you can actually see, <laughs> actually see the duct nice. tape back here in the back. So all inside my mask was basically duct tape, and then afterwards it was just done. I was just like, oh man, that sucks. Limp Biscuit, somebody in Limp Biscuit had the audacity to say to one of our good friends, who's a very reliable source, that Slipknot fans are nothing but a bunch of fat, ugly kids. <laughs> One, I'm a fat, ugly kid. Two, Slipknot fans, for the most part, enjoy all kinds of music, like Limp Biscuit, maybe. So what you're basically saying is that your fans are fat, ugly kids too? Is that what you're trying to say to me, Mana? Huh? Is that what you want to say? You want to talk shit on the people that you care about, man? We will come here and we will kill you! Please. Help me sing this song. Here's the that really fucking hurts. The lyrical concept of Eeyore describes your feeling against a man who issued a death threat to you during a Slipknot concert. No, that's not true. <laughs> it's about this one dude who used to be in every mosh pit at every metal show. He was this gigantic blonde dude, who, long blonde hair, and we called him <laughs> Thor, and he was a fucking asshole. Oh. So one night, like just a bunch of people, because he, I mean, he would be throwing elbows, he wouldn't help people up. He was the dick in the pit. Like, let's put it that way. Everybody mm. knows that one dick in the pit. So one night, everybody got around him, and they fucking housed his ass. Like, they worked him out, and he, he wasn't Ooh. in the pit for a while, you know? Shit happens. Too bad it happened down your leg, bud. Uh. And that's what that song was about, because I was there, and I watched it. It was brutal. You gotta get that fucking camera back. Fuck off! Why are you so fucking pissed at you? Fuck you, you little fucking bitch! Fuck you, man! Fuck you! The only way I can sum up Paul Gray is love. Everything he did, he did for everyone around him, whether he knew you or not. And that's what he's left behind for us, is absolute love. I will miss him with every fiber of my heart. As will everybody at this table and everyone who knew him. He was the best of us. Fuck. 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 Get I know, I know. Get <laughs> ah! <laughs> I need to see all of my people get down on the fucking ground. Right? No. When I say jump the fuck up, what are you gonna do? What the fuck are you gonna fucking do? Set this for a streak of auto deep mode But I just up and get me out Racing in my picture falling on their fears Where you gonna be in the next ten years? Crew and all the food On the ball games Give me number one I'm gonna get I'm gonna make shit You got shit 
Whatever not the good Man, I'm singing, bitch, I'm the fuck you Don't worry, man 